Right. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your um, your signature through Zimbra. We're going to log in like we normally do. Go ahead and hit sign in. All right, it's pretty pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So what you can do is just click on preferences button and go down here to signatures. And give your signature a name. I'll just name this one. I'll just give this one my name. Alright. So you can do this two ways. You can do it basically format as plain text, which what you type is what you get. Uh, or you can have a little bit more fun with it and do format as HTML. You'll, you'll notice all that once you click on that select format as HTML you'll see these this little this little menu bar of options pop up uh, you can you can also click this more option here and it'll give you a few more a few more options that you can use um, this is the way I would recommend because you can have a lot more fun with this and you can personalize it and make it unique um, here you can mess with the you can change the format you can change the size add color to it, make it bold, make it italic, underline it, pretty much whatever you want to do. Uh, you can add a picture to it using this icon here. Um, I mean, th this the whole purpose of the signature really is to let people know who the email is from, um, personalize it, really make it yours, so it's you know it's your your ability to be creative so you know you just make it what you want um, and I mean that's really all there is to it if I if, if I miss something if I didn't answer a question you know you're always always free to call the help desk um, you have um, you have our extensions um, if not from your star to star phone, you can dial 27136 and it'll come straight to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I guess that I guess that's it. If you need anything else or if you have any questions, just feel free to give us a call. Thanks. Bye.